Hello Beauty News family, welcome back to Beauty News. This is the 26th of October edition mm -hmm. and we have some things that we want to update you on. We do. Before we get started. So, we do. This is actually advent calendar stuff. So one, we are giving away two, two of the Yes Style um, K-Beauty advent calendars. Yes. So there'll be a video link up here. There'll be a link down in the description box. Um, so we did an unopening, an and, unboxing, an unboxing of what's inside, yes. um, and we were lucky enough to be given the opportunity to give two away yes. internationally. So um, do check out that video if you want to enter. It will yep. be closing early next week. So yes. you've got all weekend to enter. To week to enter. Yes. So yeah. Then we've got another announcement. We'll come yeah. back to another advent calendar update, but. Another announcement is... Oh, that's right. We're doing a meet-up. A Melbourne meet-up. So, really happening. Yeah, uh, we've been asked for a very long time to do a Melbourne meet-up because we are based in Melbourne and yeah. we haven't done a meet-up here. Um, and we thought, look, the weather is getting nicer. Yeah. And our moderator from our group and our channel, Gaynor, is coming yeah. To Melbourne. Oh my god, I'm so in, I know. So she'll be here in two weeks time. So two weeks from tomorrow, mm -hmm. Saturday. We're thinking of doing a picnic. Yes. Picnic so, in the park. Yeah, we've met up with a few uh subscribers just randomly at events and whatnot, and we're like, we're thinking of doing a picnic, and people seem to be keen on the idea. So as long as the weather is good, yes, we will do a picnic. So in the description box there'll also be a link to an event. Um, on our Facebook public page so yes. you can see it. You don't need to have a Facebook account to see it. No. Um, and it's best to keep an eye on that because depending on the weather, the details will change. Yes. But it's going to be picnic in the park, if possible. Saturday the 10th. Saturday the 10th yeah. of November. November. Yeah. At probably around 2 o'clock, so yeah. just after lunch. Um, we'll have some snacks you can bring some drinks and yeah. bring whatever you want to bring. Bring a blanket. We don't know how many people will come. No. But, um, yeah, we're planning on doing that. So, yay. I'm excited. Finally, finally we're doing it. I know. It. We're finally doing it. Finally. And I know a lot of people um, who are in the groups and, like, do our live chats once a month. They all know of Gaynor. So it's yes. a kind of a cool time to have a moderator down. Yes. So it's really it'll exciting. Be cool. I'm so glad that she can join us yeah. for the meetup. I'm, it's fantastic. I'm, I'm pumped. If she can't, we'll change our plans. Yes. To work around her. Just drag her. Drag her <laughs> in. <laughs> um, the other update that we need to... We feel like we need to address this because we spoke about the Paul and Joe advent calendar yes. in the last episode, and we were so excited for it. That was coming out 1st of November. 1st so, of November. Good. We got in yes, there before. We did. We did. We're getting in. We just want to... Um, I don't want to say warn you guys because that seems a bit mean, but we want to make you guys aware that um, it looks like there's a lot of stuff in the advent calendar, but some of the items are not potentially what people might expect them to be. So, yeah, so we, we looked into it further. Yes, we. I ended up seeing an unboxing of it, and there's three items in there that in the image, like the promotional image, look like they could be something cool, but they're actually... Uh, pigment samples on cards so if you've ever had like a sample of a blush or a bronzer or an eyeshadow on a, piece of paper. on a piece of paper where you peel off the plastic there are three of those in the advent calendar um, and that was a 12 was it's it a 12? 12 day advent calendar and three of them are cardboard yes samples. and while we're talking about how many days a calendar is when you open the calendar, it appears to be a 24 or 25 day calendar, but some of the numbers don't even have doors on them. So I don't know why they did that. I, I don't. So they make it look like it's 24, but it's, it's only 12. Only 12. Yeah. I really don't understand why they Why the would, fuck would they do that? I don't That's understand. So I'm like, I think that is really, really silly because 12-day advent calendars are widely accepted mm -hmm. by the beauty community. It doesn't, like, we don't care if the products are good, they're good. There is also an item in there that is not uh, beauty-related at all. It's a little card holder. Oh, and it yeah, is limited it. to that calendar. So you can't get it anywhere else. Um, but, yeah. Also, the um, the lipsticks... The case and the, like, Paul and Joe, if you were to wear, they do, um, like, K 
cases that you can refill. Yes. So you buy the refill, you can swap them out. The lipsticks and the cases are in individual doors. So oh, okay. it's, so um, they're, they're four. Yeah, it's considered four, four doors yeah. instead of two doors. That's correct. Yes. So, mm. and I mean, I don't personally have an issue with that because Paul and Joe do sell those products individually. Individually, but yeah, I, we just wanted to be clear about that because we were so excited about it and we raved about it. And, and a lot um, of people did say that they were interested in the yeah, cap and, stuff. Yeah. And we don't want you to buy it and no. then be like, wait, I thought this is 24 and yeah, it's 12. No, no. And wait, yeah. why are there three card samples? And why is there a card holder? And what? Yeah. Yeah. So, so we just we'll be make aware of that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Let's get on to other updates. Excellent. All right. Let's start with Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amrezi. Yeah. They're bringing back the, uh, the highlight. And this was sort of talked about for a while yeah. but we didn't actually have any concrete evidence besides people saying that they heard things mm. so uh, yeah it's coming it's back it's coming back which is good because a lot of people wanted it to come back yeah. so if you were one of those people they should just make it permanent do a well, champagne pop i think they may as well people mm. seem to love it so you know yeah if, if you wanted it's coming back you'll have the opportunity to buy it and it would not surprise me one little bit if they did eventually make it permanent. That's true. All right. The next thing is with Huda Beauty. Mm. So this is actually a few weeks ago we showed that um, she had little perfume samples mm. and was asking people what their favorite scents are or something like that. Um, and we've seen her, the brand, the new. So it's going to be a brand. Yeah. So it's oh. a sub brand under Huda Beauty. Kayali. Yeah. Did you know that's like your name and my name put together? <gasps> it is. Careful. Careful. If it was, yeah, careful. <laughs> Watch I, yourself. Huda. That's pretty much calling it beauty news. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm watching you, Huda. We got um, our eyes on you. Yeah, yeah. All right. So the brand is, uh, so like we are saying, it's under Huda Beauty, but it is founded by Huda and her sister, Mona, who... Can I just say, looks like if Huda and Kylie Jenner had, had a baby, baby yeah. that's her. Yeah. We'll put a clip in now. Yes. Six years. This has been a dream of Mona's. Mona has been bugging me about it literally. And yours. <laughs> but Mona's Both special. Of ours. All right. So they're launching four fragrances and it's sort of designed to be layered with each other so you can create your own sort of fragrances. They say that that's a really popular thing to do in the Middle East. So um, that's how it's designed. They can all be worn sort of individually or you can layer a combination of them. Um, we don't know yet when it's coming out, but they do have their own Instagram account um, and they have been saying it's in the works for years and years and years and they've worked with people that make Tom Ford fragrances, yeah. CK1. So, um, you know, hopefully they smell They'll, good. Yeah. I Look, I have confidence that they would be high quality. Yeah. Um, so, there you go. There you go. If you're, if you're down for some Huda fragrance. Yes. Or Kayali. Yeah. Which, Which means, means my, my imagination. imagination. <laughs> All right. Update on KKW, um, her sort of birthday collection that came out last week. Um, we... At that time, we did see what they were. We didn't see the prices, so we'll just quickly go through them. Um, we can see here, uh, Trend Mood took a, you know, did a swatch photo. Look how big the eyeshadows are. Yeah, I don't understand why they're they massive. need to be that big. I was, I'm like, that's like a blush. That's anyway, a lot. They're a lot. So if mm. you're worried about not getting enough, like, product, you're getting a lot. Um swatches of them you can see it there are the loose powders are 17 dollars the pressed powders are 21 dollars um or you can buy the loose bundle so all seven shades for 106 dollars um or the pressed bundle for 134 dollars so you're making a bit of savings there or you can buy all of it for 240 dollars but it's the same price as if you bought the individual like the two packs together so i don't know why they do that but oh. that's all out it, it's a thing yeah Little update on Kale Polish. Um, this is a Zodiac collection. Now, we talked about this months ago. There was black and white photos of influencers uh, posing, yep. presumably wearing the nail polishes. Um, and, like, I don't know if it was their star signs, but they were representing a star they sign. They were. They were all representing yep. a star sign. Um, 
we have seen a video now this is releasing on the 23rd of october so it's already released when it's, you're watching it's it. out it's out um but essentially what they've done is um they've got a polish for each zodiac sign and um they're sort of bunching them in like fire water earth air, air categories yes uh, with the the thing yes yes yeah yes so if you, if you understand zodiac you, you get, get it, it. You get <laughs> yeah um so yeah the, the it's it's out it's now polish it's very very exciting so excited massively oh okay another update so yep. we've seen more details oh. about the l'oreal um and the mary poppins returns yep. collection so um there is also a vault oh stop it stop it don't don't tell me that. i know so there's the seven shades <gasps> yeah a vault so seven shades we've got rose pearl copper crystal palace vendrome cherry crystal mahogany studs uh, scarlet silhouette retro red so you know that's it there you can see the sort of promotional imagery and you can buy it in a pack mm. now this is only available on amazon I know. italy so it's available now if you want it but um yeah there <clears> you go it and it folds up to a bag i'm it's so cool i just yeah, just if you're gonna put it on amazon make it available globally i know don't get me fucking riled up, L'Oreal. You don't understand. I want this. And I also want the Beauty and the Beast ones. Bring them back. I'm I'm so offended. Like, She's so offended. It's actually hurting my soul. Don't hurt her soul. It's delicate as it is, all right? I know. <laughs> all right, Sigma. Let's talk about their holiday collection. Um, this is the... Was it Viper? Yes. Yes, so the Viper collection. So there's a six-pan palette... Uh, three mattes and three shimmers. One is a duochrome. Mm -hmm. um, this is also available now. Mm -hmm. And then there are two liquid lipsticks. There's a red called Venom and a nude called Anti Venom. I think that's great. Which I really like. I think that's my favourite part of this yeah. whole collection, which we were actually sent. Yeah, we I were. haven't used yeah. it yet. Sorry, Sigma. We did swatch it. Hey, the swatches on we the have screen. A, we have a lot of makeup. <laughs> Give us a lot, break. A lot to get through. <laughs> right? One um, face and a lot yeah, of makeup. That's true. Yeah. Uh, but the thing I like about this the most is the names. I think Venom and Anti Venom is They're such great. a cool move. Yeah. Uh, I think it's really, really rad. So, yeah, if you're interested in this, I think um, a lot of people were surprised at the six pan palette because. Mm. Uh, they're more known for doing like 12 pan palettes or larger palettes. So these are quite large pans mm. and you have a few nudes and a few colors. Um, yeah, there you go. I am actually surprised that they didn't give it a bit of a festive name. Because um, it's festive colors. It is festive colors. Yeah. You know, like, okay, maybe not, you know, like Christmas fucking jingle bells, but maybe something like a little play on a, a festive word. I am surprised about that. I do feel you because if you take away the brown and the blue, mm. that's pretty much that's a Christmas a festive quad. quad. That's that a is festive, a Christmas quad. Yeah, yeah. I like. Yeah. Like I like the. I I agree with you that I like the. I sort of like the snake concept. So do I. Yeah. But it doesn't have to be for Christmas. No, that could be any time it of the year. Be. Yeah. So yeah. I, and I actually, you. the PR packaging, um, it you'll be able to see it had like this sort of metallic looking um snake skin finish yeah. on the box i wish they'd put that on the palette yes i agree with you because it's just like a plain a plain palette yeah, yeah i agree yeah. i agree but you do it go, like, go big or go home the colors are you know they're nice if you like them it's and they're yeah. quite interesting i do yeah. think the inspiration photos with the green Isn't and the blue pretty? is a is a really interesting way to do this i'm yeah. actually tempted to like recreate this yeah yeah because it's, it's cool. It's pretty. It but the eyeshadow pretty. palette's $36 and the lipsticks are $15 each. Excellent. So if you're familiar with Sigma quality and you like it, check it before you wreck it. <laughs> Don't wreck it. Don't wreck it. All right. That's our job. <laughs> yeah. No. Leave that to us. Leave that to Beaver. <laughs> okay. Let's update Mac Holiday. Mac yep. Holiday is massive this year, guys. It's absolutely just massive. Now, we did talk about... Um, some kits that are coming with the shiny pretty things collection, but we've seen so many more. Yeah. So, so we'll talk about, we'll hold off and talk yeah. about them all. 
All right, so we've got some goodie bags. Uh, there's a nude lips one, $39.50, and also red lips, again, $39.50. Um, they contain a cream sheen, lipstick, a lip gloss, and a lip pencil in their respective colors. Yes, yeah. like, and the red one is a matte finish lipstick. Yes. So lipstick, lip gloss, pencil. Pencil. Yes. Yeah. Uh, there's smoky eyes and neutral eyes goodie bags again thirty nine fifty. So there's uh, six pan palettes in each, along with a mascara and an eyeliner and a makeup bag as well. Yes. So one looks more cool toned, one looks more warm toned. Can say these mascaras are rad. Yeah, I like them. They're good. Yeah. Yep. Then we have uh, Glow Getter in gold and pink. Mm -hmm. Now. These are packs with uh, extra dimension skin finishes. There's Whisper of Guilt in one. So if you want Whisper of Guilt, you can get it. I think it's again. been out in the last two holiday collections. I think so it so. is a limited edition shade, yeah. but it has. No, they made it permanent. Oh, they did actually. They brought it into the, yeah. um, the extra, extra dimension, dimension skin finish yeah. range. So. It's, you probably have you've it. probably got it. And then there's Beaming. Um, and I think it's actually called Beaming Pink or something like that. Um, and again, it's extra dimension skin finish. It's in the permanent line. But these ones have the bows yes. on top. Yes. They both also contain a strobe cream in either gold or pink and a curved cheek brush. Yeah, these, so it's like a duo fiber brush. Yes, these are retailing for $39.50 US as well. There's two eye party eyeshadow palettes. So these are nine pan palettes. These are $29.50 each. There looks to be like a sort of pinky plummy rose toned one and then one that's more cool toned with some blues in it. Yeah, it's like a yeah. pop of vibrant blue and more of a sort of, I don't know, sea Aqua, blue. sea blue. Yeah. Then we have the face compacts. These are the three pan palettes with the highlighter, blush, and bronzer. It comes in medium, deep, and fair. These are $39.50 each. Uh, we've also got a lip intensity pack. I'm just I'm gonna put it out there. I'm Kinda want. interested. Yep. So this, on my radar. On the radar. So this contains six lip intensity uh, lipsticks. I don't know if they're full size. They look full size. They do. This is retailing for $69.50 US. So, you know, kind of... Yeah, these are very nice lipsticks. If yeah. you haven't tried the Lip Tensity, they're very, very sort of glossy but pigmented, pigmented and, and they, they last a long yeah, time and they're comfortable. Yeah. It makes me realize why aren't I wearing more of them? I know. I think, I'm, I'm just going to say this, I've only got smoked almond as well. So I'm I don't even think sure I've got that. That's if these are minis, I'm Buy, buying, buying it. it. Yeah, I've got a bright red and a dark one. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but they are nice. And I need and more nudes, and these got these have three nudes. I'm wondering if mulling spices is like a new it might be shade because that's like festive. Yes, I don't know. It's on my radar. Uh, we have a retro matte set uh again six colors for 69.50 and um these are the retro matte liquid lipsticks there are also shiny pretty things lip kit 79.50 this is going to be the big like vault of mini lipsticks yeah yeah yep. they did one of these last year sold out so quickly and this sold out really quick it was the first thing to sell it on the mac Web US website. US website. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, these are cute. Yeah, because these are minis and they're some of their most popular shades. Yes, yeah. and the packaging of each of them represents the color that's inside. So, you know, Very they've cute. actually, like, they've tried with this. I think they've tried with a lot of their collection this year, which is great. Yeah. Next up are the brush party packs. These are $49.50 each. There's a face one and an eye one. So the face brush, uh, face pack contains four brushes, the 471, 465, 493, and 481. The eyes contains the 580, 581, 82, 83, and 84. And these all have limited edition packaging, and it looks like potentially the face ones are shorter. Yes. Shorter handles. Yeah. And you get like a little makeup bag in them with them as well. Yeah, I kind of like how the makeup bag. You know, lolly wrappers yeah, where they're individually I was the same wrapped. Thing. Yeah, I'm. I like that. I really as well. like it, and I like that the the handles are like. Look, 
We need to stop looking at this Mac stuff. I know. It's just getting me. It is getting me this year. Um, then we have the glitter and pigment sets. So there's a gold one and a pink one. These each contain four pigments and they're twenty nine fifty each. Yeah, and these are mini pigments. Yeah, they're they're little. mini, but they're enough. Enough. Oh yeah, unless you want to cover your body with them. Yeah, it's these enough. Are enough because Absolutely. I think I've had full size Mac pigments going on like six years <laughs> yes. and I've used them half a dozen times yes. like you don't yeah need these are actually a great time to buy pigments yeah um I think yeah then we have uh the party favors mini lip gloss sets there's a nude and a pink one these contain four mini lip glosses and they're 29.50 each and then we have the mini lipstick sets comes in bright and nude so again four mini lipsticks in each pack for twenty nine fifty. Mm-hmm. yeah and they're cute because you get one pack that's got orange packaging and one pack that's got pink packaging yep. it's cute it is very cute there's also a pack that contains a mini lipstick a mini fix plus and a mascara mm-hmm. great um, little pack yeah and then there's two other sort of more lip I don't know, conditioning packs or something. Mm-hmm. Um, you get a lip scrub, a li- matte liquid lipstick, and what looks like a lip balm, like a prep yeah. prep product. So different colors with that. There's also a pack with three lipsticks. The Once again, the packaging matches the colors, which are really cool. Um, there's a mini Fix Plus scented set. So you yeah. have the rose, the lavender, and the coconut, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I want um, this. <laughs> yeah, and then I think that's it. So it's I a lot. I think that's everything. Those are the packs. And then, of course, we have um, the single items that we've spoken about time and time again. Yes. You've got the limited edition lipsticks, the lip glosses, the eyeshadows, which we bought one of each mm. of because we're naughty. <laughs> um, and then the dazzle, gla- uh, dazzle liners, which yeah. are sparkly liquid liners. And then the two highlighters that have that beautiful bow packaging. One we bought. Oops. Mm. What was it called? Um, Snow Flushed. Yeah. yeah, and then the other one's Oh Darling, which is a re-promoted shade. Yes. So that's all of that's it. That's all of it. From Shiny Pretty Things. Yeah, plus the advent calendar. Yes. Which we don't know if it's coming everywhere, but don't know. we talked about it last week. Yeah. All right, this is something that's a little bit old, and I feel bad. Mm. I think this we should probably should have spoken about this two to three weeks ago. Yeah. But it wasn't on our radar, and no. people didn't share it, and we forgot about it. Mm-hmm. But I can say it's worth talking about. So Bobby Brown have released a new House of Lux um, products. So this is bullet lipsticks, which are matte. So they're the, the Lux matte lip colors, um, and they're coming in eighteen shades. So they've already launched. Uh, they've also already launched in Australia. I think we might have got them exactly the same time. I as think the US, we did. I actually, which was good. I think we did. Yeah, and then they've got Lux Liquid High Shine, Lux Liquid Lip High Shine. Uh, These are liquid lipsticks that have a shiny finish Mm -hmm. and they come in nine shades and then they have the same thing, but the velvet matte finish. So the packaging looks the same, but the difference is the cap. One is frosted, one is shiny, shiny. and they also come in nine shades. Now, the reason why I couldn't let these slide is because these are fucking fantastic. Yeah, they're really Um, good. We were sent a couple each and I actually went out and then bought more because I like them so much. Mm -hmm. Um, I've got mine down here. Hang on a sec. So these are the liquid lipsticks. So you can see these middle two are like the frosted packaging. So they're matte. I'm wearing one today. And those outer two have the shiny. So they're a shiny finish. These are so good. The formula the is formula really good. The formula is so good. So I got sent two. I went out and bought two. I'm wearing them all the time. If you want a good liquid lipstick and you're happy to buy Bobby Brown. And I'd say also not only the mattes are really comfortable and wear a really long time, but the shiny ones. They're so pigmented. I I was scared to wear this one because I was like dark, shiny. It's going to go everywhere. It's going to smear, bleed. They don't. But they wore so well. So if you want a decent liquid lipstick, shit, I love these. I haven't tried the bullet ones, but these. So, yeah, they're available now now all right burt's bees have um i don't know if this is for the holidays but it's a cool gift idea they have this is the us i don't know if it's anywhere else but they have made a customizable lip balm 
thing. So if you want to buy a lip balm and you either want to change the name to be like instead of Burt's Bees, you can have like Haley's Bees or Cat's, Cat's Bees. bees. Um, or you can have the – instead of having the shade name, you can have a message. So like on the screen you've got it's a boy or congratulations or whatever. So I wonder if they would let you put a swear word on it because you know that that's where my mind is going. I reckon they should. I like this idea of like the wedding one. Yeah, that's sweet. That's cool. What a good little gift. That is is cute yeah Burt's Bees lip balms are great rather than almonds in like sugar yeah although I do love them maybe both. I would look I prefer <laughs> a Burt's Bees lip balm than that but there you go yeah. uh, that's something you can check out um check out their website because that, I think you have to order them online but yeah. it's cool I that's like it that's cute from Colourpop we have a new collection with Karuchi K coming we don't know much about it except that it's gonna launch the day this video goes up basically yeah um so We'll update it next time. Uh, but I think it's going to be called Brown Sugar. I, I'm really excited to talk about this. And I'm oh, just good. going to show you guys because I've been fucking loving this product. I haven't used them yet, so I'm very excited. These are cats one because mine are dirty because I've been using them. All right. These are new sponges from a brand called Ella Cosmetics. Now, Ella Cosmetics is a beauty tool company. Yeah, based in Australia. Um, based in Australia. They make um, synthetic, cruelty-free makeup brushes. They are fantastic. And Yeah, I, I think we've had them ever since end of last year. Yeah, end of last yeah. year or start of this year. No, I think it was end of, end last, of last year. year and I've yeah. been, I use them. They're in my rotation all the time. They they're, are fantastic. And they've been holding, out, like, holding up really well. Yeah, no, they're really, really well-made brushes, mm -hmm. um, smart cuts. They're, they're good brushes. Yeah. If you're into, like, cruelty-free... Um, brushes and you're Australia based and you want to buy a really nice set I highly recommend them um, they sell an Angels Fall set which is yeah. like a I think was it 10 piece or 15 16 piece maybe it's a and really it's like a travel a cup, yeah. cup holder thing really good value mm. it works out to like $10 a brush it's a really really good value anyway they sent us their new sponges and these are fucking amazing. Now, Kat and I both really love the Flower Beauty sponges. We do. They're my probably my favorite texture of sponges. Yeah, they're great. They're so soft and yeah. they apply makeup beautifully. However, the shape of them is... You know, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, I don't like the shape of them. They're not great for doing the whole face. Like you can't do it under the eyes properly. These yeah. have that cut, so yeah. you can. So these have... These are kind of like a beauty blender shape. But they've got a flat edge Which on one is side. Genius. They're really pointed at the top. And when these get wet, they feel exactly like the flower beauty sponge. So they're beautiful and soft. How are they feeling? Oh, yeah. So it's they're good. You are going to love I, I it. I think this is gonna be a hero product for them. Absolutely. Because the price also we'll have it on yeah. the screen is so much cheaper than Beauty Blender. Yes, guys, these are fantastic. As soon as I got mine wet, yeah, I was like, oh, in heaven, oh, oh, oh. in heaven, <laughs> new favorite. These are fantastic. You can buy them singly, or you can get them cheaper as a bundle. And yeah, I love them. Congratulations, Ella Cosmetics, you've done it again. Yeah, and I'd sort of point out though that one is in Australia thirteen dollars, yeah. two is twenty. 20. Yeah, in Australia, a beauty blender is twenty nine dollars, mm -hmm. and they're not. Look, beauty blenders are great. We, they're people great. love them. But these are... But the texture of these when they're wet is just so nice. I love them. That's I it. Love We're going to have to stock up. Yeah. All right. Fenty have announced a new item. I think this is actually a smart idea. It's mm -hmm. not going to be for everyone. I'm not going to buy one. But smart idea. They are releasing three fairy bomb shimmer powders so these are the same formula of what's in the pom-pom yeah but in like a pot a loose yeah form. so you can apply it and there's three shades yeah so there's copper chill rosé on ice and 24 cray so copper chill is like a bronze rosé on ice is that sort of soft pink and then uh 24 cray is the gold um, now these were available at Sephora, which mm -hmm. is, was the Sephora sort of festival, um, last weekend, but they're permanent or not, well, they're globally releasing 
on the 7th of December. So right. I think these are a permanent product. They don't say anywhere that it's limited edition. Um, but if you did want to check them out, like if you really like the pom-pom, but you don't, you just want to access the product and not you have the pom-pom, yeah. uh, they listened, which I thought yeah. is a smart move because a lot of people were saying great things about the product, but didn't like the format of how it applied. Yeah, that's fair. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Speaking of flower beauty, uh, they are coming to Australia. Chemist Warehouse, um, soon. In March. In March. There we go. So early next year. When I saw this information, I was really excited mm-hmm. because, like I mentioned before, I love the texture of the Flower Beauty sponge, mm-hmm. and I was like, great, I can, you know, always stock up on them, it's all good, but um, I'm not so excited anymore. <laughs> because of the Ella sponge. Yeah, the Ella sponge, yeah. like, I, I, I prefer the shape of it, I just find it. Is, yeah, look, yeah. I've heard good things about Flower Beauty, so I think it's a it's great that they're coming to yeah. Australia because a lot of people, when they say, what brands can't you access, Flower Beauty is often one of those yeah. ones that um, we can't access. And so now that it's coming to Chemist Warehouse, which is also a really good venue for it because mm. it's more an affordable um, store, yeah. and they often have 50% off sales. They do. A few times a year, they have 50% off all makeup. Yeah. So um, if you want to stock up on things like sponges, if they bring the sponges, if they, we don't know. Yeah, we don't even know what's coming. Yeah, we don't even know what's coming. Um, I'm sure it'll be a smaller collection first and then yeah. they might expand on it. But like you, I love the texture of those sponges, but that middle the part, shape, yeah. it's like that little dent is like wasted surface Space. area yeah. because you don't actually use it. You so it's just for it. gripping. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. but I am like, I'm keen to be able to explore the brand. Yes, absolutely. Which I think is great. All right. Kat Von D have Bizarre done fun. it again. <laughs> done it again. Yeah. Confused Kat. people. Kat Von don't. Kat Von. <laughs> Do not go there, sister. Um, they have released in Sephora uh, for a limited time their liner x so this is exclusively online at sephora Mm. for twenty dollars um and the point of it is it's a sort of test of a liner that's going to be released in 2019 um so they've got a limited batch and you could buy it test it and then give feedback on it um so a lot of people are wondering why are they paying to do market research for Kat Von D. Mm. And I 100% agree with that. <laughs> so do I. It makes don't, absolutely no sense. Don't ever pay for a product that... Okay, th- this is just... This is complete fucking bullshit to me. Kat Von, don't fucking start me, bitch. <laughs> this is the biggest load of shit I have ever ever actually seen in the beauty community and i have seen some shit this is bullshit do not buy do not pay for a product that is not ready for sale to test it out and give your feedback this is an absolute they should be sending these out to for free yes to the pros that are in their pro program yeah or the people that they should be chucking them in with Mm -hmm. orders from the 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 Kat Von D website Mm -hmm. so if you are a fan they should be fucking getting in contact with a market research company and doing it professionally I think it's fair to ask makeup lovers to test it out because but don't fucking pay to no, do that. I think what they should be doing from their website, either free with orders, yeah. or if you buy their liner, so you know they know you like liquid liners, they give you a duo pack. Yeah. The here's one. The Test normal liner and, and then let the, us know. the liner X. Yeah. Um, and then you can also compare and contrast and say, what do I like about this more than that? Yeah. Have they improved a formula? Do I need them both? Do they both need to be on the market? Mm-hmm. I think asking people to pay money for it is cheeky as fuck. It is it's so, so cheeky. It's the equivalent of saying, oh, you want to be a model? Okay, pay me to take your photos. Mm-hmm. And then you kind of go, well, wait, hang on. Isn't the point of being a model is that I get paid for <laughs> to be in yeah. It's the same kind of thing. Yeah. Market researchers, like if you, if you test a product... You get paid. Generally, people pay people to do that. That is a job. Yeah. So the fact that they are making you pay for the privilege of testing an item is fucking cheeky. It's absolute fucking hogwash. Yeah, I feel like the only way that 
people will do this is if they're diehard Kat Von D fans and they see it as being an exclusive sneak peek, which it is, but it's also bullshit. So it's such bullshit. Yeah, we have a photo on the screen. Um, this particular person got sent one, mm. and um, you can see the comparison to the other liners in the range. So liner X looks like it's probably more pigmented than the tattoo liner, and doesn't bleed as much. Doesn't bleed as much, and it looks like it's a shinier finish mm. than the others as well. And then so. we've got the lash liner, and every oh, single what person a I have seen use that Hate puts that. it in their eye, and then they're like, Stings. ah, yeah. Ah. I've heard that it's horrible. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know why. And that's when we first spoke about that lash liner, we were like, why? Why? What is like, you can use gel liners. You can use pencil liners. You can do use other things. And they're like, Oh, it's the first of its kind. It's like, no, people have been yeah, using the first of its lo- kind that will fucking burn your yeah. eyeballs. But it's, but honestly, people have been using, um, liner on their lash line for yeah. fucking forever. Yeah. You don't need one that looks like someone's just dragged their dirty ass <laughs> on the floor and create a skid mark. Oh, Jesus. It's the worst. I'm having none of your shit, Kat yeah, Bundy. None of it. None of it. None of it. I won't swallow that. All right. On to Kylie Cosmetics. There's a couple of new things. Firstly, they've been showing some extended palettes. So we've got the peach extended and the burgundy extended. Last time they did, did this, I think it was the bronze. Yeah. I think it was bronze. Um, and they essentially turn a nine pan palette into a 12 pan palette. Um, so they might keep the popular shades, swap out some for newer shades, and then add in a couple. So yep. they sort of revamp them and make them bigger. She's also shown that this Friday, so um, that's US time, so soon soon yeah um there's going to be three new lip kits now that's not super exciting but i do want to point out that there's um sort of a cool like dark teal color that's called 2014 there's like a peachy nude called queen and there's actually one called kylie (laughs) oh wow there you go so she's finally named one after herself she's so yeah i think it's like her perfect nude yeah that's fair it does look beautiful on her so Mm. we'll allow it kylie we'll allow it Tom Ford is revamping their quads. So some of the existing line is being or has already been discontinued and new quads are being added. Um, So it looks like there are seven new quads that we are aware of um, and they actually look really nice. They do look cool. I think these have been done really well. Um, I sort of want them all. So yeah. So they've done a good job. I feel so like I want them all. whoever has helped like put this together, choose colors, they have their eye on like current times and the future, which yeah. is fantastic for Tom Ford. So yeah, there's a, a bunch of colors. You've got warms and neutrals and like purple tones, cool tones. This orange yeah uh, like interesting there's the, even one yeah the i like green, that one. the purple and the gold yeah really really smart so yeah i think they've done a good job with the colors i think so too and i think it's almost funny when you see that brands bring out these big palettes of like 20 pans or 15 pans or whatever it is Desk palette yeah and then all of a sudden they come in and they summarize the palette in four shades yeah like i think that's really cool it's yeah. like edited it down yeah all right let's Get into some holiday stuff. Bobby Brown. We've seen what they're releasing. We've got the Highlight and Glow Highlighting Powder Duo. Um, this is in Australian dollars, yeah, by the way. Don't, don't shit your pants. Don't shit your pants. Dollars. Calm your farm. It's all good. $130. Um, so by expensive. the way, this collection is out now. Um, it launched on the 21st of October and it's available at all Bobby Brown retailers. Next up we have the Lux on Lux Mini Lux Lip Color Collection. So this is a selection of mini lipsticks. There's 10 in the pack. This retails for $250. It's a lot of money. But their lipsticks are like $56 in Australia. Yeah, so they're really they're expensive. They're expensive. Bobby Brown is Bobby Brown is a Lux brand here. Yeah. It is. I do want to say, if this was a mini vault of those liquid lipsticks, oh, I would cat buy would it be all over in it. a heartbeat, but <laughs> yes. these aren't. <laughs> yes. There's a travel brush set, five pieces. One of the brushes is dual-ended, and it comes in like a little hard case. Um, that hard case is cool. 
Isn't it cute? I'd sort of want to buy that just for the hard <laughs> just case. Just for the hard case. It looks like it could be a cool clutch. I don't yeah, know what the outside d- looks like, but no the idea. inside looks really cool. It does. It's cute. Um, that one's $250. Then we have the eyeshadow palettes. These are Starlight and Smoky Crystal. These are $110 each. Too much money. Yeah, they're eight pan palettes, and they both look... One well looks done. kind of neutral cool, and the other one looks just straight up cool. So, yeah. And then we have some uh, more palettes, but these are sort of like set palettes. So we've got the Ready Set Party Deluxe Eye and Cheek Palette. This is an eye and cheek palette with brushes, an eyeliner, and a mascara on one side. Um, $200. And then we have a four pan palette with a mini lipstick um, we've got the Little Luxuries. Um, I think these are all minis. The Liner and Define Mini Longwear Gel Eyeliner Duo. Uh, that's $40. There's the Party Lips Mini Lip Color Duo. So that's two uh, mini lipsticks. Again, $40. There's the Mini Highlighting Powder. This one, again, is $40 as well. Um, and I think it's like a pink glow... Not a shimmer brick, but it's one of their, like... Yes. Yeah. Um, then we've got the Lip Crush Mini Crush Lip Color Kit. Uh, this is five of their uh, crushed lip color mini lipsticks. That one's $90. And then there's a mini shimmer brick, $45. And that one is um, bronze, the shade. There's also the Day to Night Lashes Smoky Eye Mascara and No Smudge Mascara Duo for $70. And the Nudist Nudes Lip Gloss Kit. This contains five lip glosses and it retails for $90. Too much money. It's, it's for a lip lot. glosses, it's too much lot. money. It's, yep. it's a lot. All right, then we have new from uh, Christian Louboutin. Wow. Uh, we've seen a sneak peek of their holiday collection, which is gold. Holy All gold. shit. So um, there's going to be limited edition nail polish. You can see it's like a gold glitter yeah top coat type thing um a gold lip gloss a gold eyeliner, eyeliner. and gold packaging mascara i don't yeah. know if it's actually a gold mascara or if the packaging's just gold but this is releasing from the first of november stop it stop it <laughs> the packaging of that gold liner i'm just yeah, like it's pretty cool it's cool for our US viewers, uh, if you want an advent calendar, Glossy Box is doing one this year. People seem very excited about it on the group. This is retailing for 99 US dollars, so if you're interested, I would recommend checking that out as soon as possible. All right, we have seen some holiday stuff from uh, Jouer. Yep. So this is just like a sneaky peek of what's coming up. They have a ultra foil palette. Mm. So um, you can see a, a video playing on the screen. So you can see that it's a 12 pan palette and they're all shimmers <sighs> and they have, she's trying to do the pop of um, turquoise, I think. Yeah. Uh, so you can see that there's some nudes in there, purple, some sort of smoky colors you know oh my god no, gold. i hate it yeah it's pr- it looks really dated i hate it it does i like look... the f- i like like if you look at the actual finish of them yeah they look really they nice. Look nice um but the colors I'm are not, a bit i'm not into it no they're a bit like i don't know 2000s paris hilton yeah <laughs> they're also showing a shade of liquid lipstick in charmed which is like a really light mauvey pink mm-hmm. um sort of nude and then a lip topper in ethereal I'm kind of getting the vibe that um, the palette and maybe the two mini lip glosses might come in a set. Right, okay. So I think it's going to be a set thing. But that shif- oh, that shimmery nude looks dated AF. I, that whole image, like, you know, she's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. But that just looks so, so dated and frosty. It's not doing her any ju- justice, no. is it? Frosty like... makeup never did anyone any fucking favours. No. Like, don't don't bring that back. Don't allow people to do that to us again. It's not attractive. I won't Turn have it. it. First. <laughs> I do think that similar to how we were saying that the people that were creating the Tom Ford quads, mm. how they're, like, really encapsulating like what's currently Current. popular yeah. and what is sort of like popular in the next maybe yeah. 12 months she's done the opposite mm, she's like, like what it's... is old and that should never be brought back <laughs> yeah. let's make let's it for make christmas it. yeah anyway. i i feel you on that one 
Um, okay, let's talk about more Mac holiday stuff. This is new. This is very exciting. Our favorite collaborator with Mac for 2018 is having one last hurrah. Yes. Patrick Starr is creating or has created with Mac the Sleigh Ride Holiday Collection. Mm Mm-hmm. Now, we know the products that are going to be in there, but we've only seen a few. Let's start with the Patrick's Powder. So it's back. It's back in limited edition red packaging. Yep. With a puffy puff. A little puff. Yeah, so it's in a little um, tin. Yeah. With a little puff. So cute. Yeah. Then we've got a mineralized skin finish in Baby It's Cold Outside. This looks a lot like... Baby It's Gold Outside. Oh, sorry. (laughs) Gold Outside. Uh, It looks a lot like a sort of warmer version of... Soft and gentle? Yeah, it does a bit, actually. I get that vibe. Yeah. I like soft and gentle. I love soft and gentle, too. There's uh, two six-pan eyeshadow palettes in Smoky Sleigh and Oh Holy Eyes. And there are also three pigments. We've got some Dazzle Glass lip glosses. Uh, Looks like there's going to be five shades of that and three lipsticks. Yeah, so we haven't seen too much, but the packaging is like a... Got almost like that crushed foiled look. Yeah. So, um, some, sort of like how crushed velvet versus velvet. Yeah. Crushed foil. It's cool. It's red. It's I'm nice. I'm going to buy something from this yeah, collection. Yeah, I think it looks pretty. So, yeah. um, there's that. It's going to be releasing from the 4th of November. So, when we find out more, we will let you know more. Okay, Morphe has shown their holiday collection. One thing has already been released. Mm-hmm. So the uh, 8S Stella Impact Highlighter Palette has been on their website since last week. So this is $25. You can see it's an 8-pan highlighter palette. It's got some purple colors, pinks, champagnes, deeper colors, whatever. Um, and then they also have shown other stuff that's coming. Mm-hmm. And this is releasing. Um, it's already released when you're watching this, but when we're filming this it hasn't released yet um and we can see that there are two 15 pan eyeshadow palettes Mm -hmm. one is very what was that bh cosmetics all right so this sort of gives me a slightly was it the weekend palette yeah from bh cosmetics yeah it's got hits on those sort of purples pinks blues and sort of nudes so that's that um, then there's more of a... This looks like a smaller version of the last palette they just brought out. Yeah, yeah, it What does. are they doing? So I the don't know. Browns, oranges, and like acid greens. Yeah. So the colourful palette is the 15S Social Butterfly Artistry Palette. Mm-hmm. The more sort of brown one is the Your True Selfie Artistry Palette. Then there's a 12-piece lip collection. So these are the Molten Magic... Uh, these look like little mini... Metallic. Metallic lip glosses yeah. or lip sticks. That's $29. Another thing that we haven't seen anything about is the Out and a Pout Lip Trio, which will be $16 each. Um, and these trios have a lip pencil, a lipstick, and a, like a lip gloss. And there'll be four shade trios available. So mm-hmm. we haven't seen them yet. Hopefully they're on the screen. And then there's the Wingmen Liner, Liquid Liner Duo. Mm. Um, so you have like a matte one and a, and glitter, a glitter liner. One. So they're $19. There's Metallic Heat Glitter Fever Metallic Eyeshadow Trios, $12 for each trio. Um, there's Brush Collections. So there's a Grandmasters 20. So it's $75 US dollars. There's the All I Want. I get it. E-Y-E. All <laughs> yeah. I Want. Six piece brush collection, eighteen dollars. Um, the complexion crew, so it's a five piece brush collection, twenty five dollars. Um, and then there's also the bling fling, eight piece brush collection, and a makeup bag. Which and they, I think all the brush collections come with a ba- makeup bag. They do. Um, the eight piece is seventy nine dollars. So it's all available already. So yeah, when sometimes when we film this, we just have a list. We don't actually have all the photos. So you've You've got them on the screen. Yes. You'll be more informed than we currently are. Yes. So, yeah. This is people from the past. We're in the past. Struggling to predict the future. That's true. <laughs> um, Natasha Denona. We've seen her new chrome crystal top coats. There's two shades. Is $28 each in metal black and metal bronze. Yeah. And these are available now. They are. So they kind of look cool. Um, yeah. 
They she brought these out last year. I think there was three shades last year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's not a new concept for her, but they are new shades. Yeah. Um, and there's a video that's playing on the screen, and they look really fucking Very pretty. pretty. They look so pretty, but a lot of things that she brings out looks pretty in videos, and then in there's real a life disappointment. Not as pretty, but that's, <laughs> that's so that's true. How it so fucking true. And that's, that's it. That's it. So that's it's a everything. Relatively short episode. Well, we thought it was short, and then it went. And for then a long it time. went forever. Whatever. What Shit happens. Is. The time has come to dedicate this episode to a Beauty News VIP, and this week we dedicate this episode to Jasmine. Jasmine. Thank, Thank you, Jasmine. You have been supporting us for a long time. We love you. We do love you. Thank you. Thank and we you love so everyone much. who supports Beauty News. However you manage to do that, uh, we respect it all. We do. And we've got an emoji, so if you've made it to the end and you want to leave a emoji in the comments section to let us know that you've made it to the end the emoji is going to be pizza oh my god because i'm going to have pizza for dinner pizza <laughs> pizza pizza yeah kat and i like two types of pizza the really crap stuff like yeah. the dominoes when the you're just stuff. like starving and you're like eat it while it's hot because then it won't taste too much like cardboard and then we like the really like the good stuff. The legit stuff. It's got to be crap Where or it's great. like some old man has come from Italy and taught his family as they go down the family yeah. tree. And the, the crust is amazing. And oh. What was that? Wasn't there like a 40 cheese pizza up the road? What? I didn't think I sent you a link about this. I didn't know. This is... I have missed I'm that I'm sure link. I sent it to I you and missed, Simon. I or tagged missed, you guys or something. I've missed it. And it's like a 38 cheese pizza or a 40 cheese pizza or something. You Let know me we're doing it. that. I know. <laughs> I totally <laughs> underestimated. I said 40. Fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, it's 150 cheese pizza. I, I got that wrong. It's only $25. Anyway, oh. if you missed, if, we, if I cut some of that out, unfortunately, it's not available anymore. No. 150 cheese pizza. Damn. It was a thing. Damn it. We'll we'll be keeping an eye out for that in the future. Good idea. They've done it before. They'll do it again. Last time it was ninety nine, so maybe next time it'll be two hundred and fifty. Fucking yes. Anyway, Good. let's wrap it up. So yeah. leave a pizza in the in the description box. In the, <laughs> in the comment, comment section. section. And if you want to check out the giveaway, don't forget uh, in the description box. Our makeup's in the description box. Stuff will be on the screen. Check it out. Do a thing. Holidays, yay. Yay. We're getting ready for it early. We are indeed. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.